Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. This week's topic is renaming parts, and this tip was actually sent to me from Ron W., and I didn't even know you could do this, and I thought it was so cool, I figured I wanted to share it with the rest of you. So let's take a look. So in this example, you can see that I have a bunch of components that are just named like part one, part two, part three, etc. And I want to give them a more descriptive name. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. If I right mouse click on the part, I can come in here and say rename and then give it a name. But I had to move my mouse to do that. The other way is to just click twice. So I'm going to go click, click. It's not a double click, it's more like click, click. And then that allows me to type in the name. But then I can come, I have to move my mouse over to the next one, click, click, type in the name, etc., working my way down. So what I wanted to show you is the tip that Ron shared with me, which I think is really handy because you don't have to use the mouse. Everything can be done at the keyboard. So I am going to click on this first one and give it a name. So I'm going to call this one uh, hand and then I'm just going to hit enter and we can see that it renamed that component to hand. Well now I can on my keyboard I can use my down arrow and you can see I can scroll down through my browser or scroll up through my browser using the up and down arrows. Then the tip here is to use F2 on the keyboard. So when I hit F2, you can see it instantly highlights that component name for me. So I could call this gear. I'll hit enter, down arrow, F2, let's call that one wrist. Enter, down arrows, I'm gonna actually go twice because the part was mirrored, so it, it's a copy. That one's also a copy. So I'll go to this one, hit F2, and let's just call that finger, down arrow, and let's just uh, F2, call this connector. And one last one, I'll hit F2, and let's just call that gear arm. And just like that, we've now renamed all of the components in the browser just using the keyboard without having to double click on each one and type in a name, etc. So I thought this was a cool tip. Ron, thanks for sharing it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, all I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up and share or repost the video with others in your network. This will help spread the knowledge of Fusion out to the community. If you have any comments or ideas for future topics, please reach out to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.